Ford unveils self-driving van equipped with delivery drones. Ford has introduced its concept for an autonomous van that is able to send out delivery drones at the 2017 Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. The Ford Auto Delivery Concept is an electric self-driving van with deployable quadrocopter drones that can pick up and drop off packages at a person's residence. The service starts with a customer placing an order through a mobile application. Packages would then be loaded into compartments on the autonomous van. Next, the auto delivery van would drive to the customer's residence, where he or she could pick up the package from the van. But if the customer needs a package delivered, the package would be moved to the top of the van, where onboard drones would be able to access them. The drones would then fly the package to the residence and drop it off at a designated landing pad. Ford envisions the end-to-end -end delivery service could be used for things such as online shopping orders, weekly groceries, and medical supplies. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. If delivery drones are your thing, then watch these. The sky's the limit for Amazon's flying warehouses. Amazon has filed a patent for a self-driving airship that can store inventory and be used as a base to launch delivery drones. Amazon's airborne fulfillment centers would hover at an altitude of 45,000 feet and be the focal point of a network of unmanned aerial vehicles. The self-driving airships would carry a cargo of Amazon products and unmanned drones to deliver goods to customers. According to a patent filed by Amazon, the drones would navigate horizontally to their destination and would use little to no power. The airships would be replenished by smaller unmanned service vehicles, which could carry workers, drones, fuel, and inventory. One potential use of the airships could be for large events, such as concerts or football games, where they could be used to deliver souvenirs or food. The patent for the Amazon airship was filed in 2014, but only came to light last week. Amazon has successfully tested deliveries by drone in the UK and is waiting for federal approval to roll out the service in the United States. Amazon proposes new air rules for high-speed drone deliveries. On Tuesday, Amazon proposed new air traffic rules for controlling delivery drones at a NASA-sponsored conference in Mountain View, California. Amazon proposed that airspace under 200 feet be reserved for slow-moving drones and airspace between 200 and 400 feet for high-speed drones. No aircraft would be able to fly between 400 and 500 feet, and only manned aircraft could fly above 500 feet. High-speed delivery drones will file a flight plan with a central computer and download a list of obstacles and airspace to avoid. High-speed drones can detect aircraft in their path and will always give way. They can also detect smaller, unexpected obstacles like birds. The proposed regulations envision a future with thousands of drones sharing the sky, and Amazon hopes its proposal will speed the FAA's acceptance of its drone delivery model. Drone carrying contraband crashes in Oklahoma prison yard. Staff at Oklahoma State Penitentiary noticed a drone carrying blades, drugs, and other contraband on prison grounds at around 9 a.m. on Tuesday, according to a statement from the Oklahoma Department of Corrections. A drone smuggling contraband into the Oklahoma State Penitentiary had a package suspended from it by a fishing line. Inside the package were two 12-inch long hacksaw blades, 5.3 ounces of marijuana, 0.8 ounces of methamphetamines, less than a gram of heroin, a cell phone, a cell phone battery, and a hands-free device, as well as cigarettes, cigars, and two tubes of super glue. The drone clipped the razor wire on the prison fence before crashing into the prison yard below, where prison staff discovered the UAV on Tuesday morning. This is the first time an incident like this has occurred in Oklahoma, but it's far from the first time nationwide in a country that hasn't quite figured out how to regulate the use of drones. In a similar incident last year, a drone carrying phones, marijuana, and tobacco crashed outside the walls of a South Carolina maximum security prison. 
And earlier this year, a drone dropped a package of heroin, marijuana, and tobacco into an Ohio prison yard, causing a fight among the incarcerated. The Oklahoma DOC Director Robert Patton said in his statement that the DOC has been directing staff to stay alert in case of any more attempts to use flying aircraft to smuggle contraband into prisons.